the, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. In the prophet it. tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone, in peace of Christ to all of you, please invite your friends. And today we have a very interesting topic. You know, uh, Muslims understand how they try to refute us. As an example, there is a kid, he made a hundred video to refute me, but he don't dare to call me. The other kid, he told the Muslim, who you want me to debate? They said to him, Christian Prince. He made a lot of Muslims leave Islam. So he called me, he hung up on me, he called me, he hung up on me. Actually, I called him. <laughs> he did not let me ask him a question. <laughs> and all of them, all of them, they are willing to debate me face to face. Only face to face. But nobody there to give me a call. And the reason is very simple. The one who speak Arabic is stupid, and the one who don't speak Arabic is stupid. I mean, I understand if somebody who doesn't speak Arabic, he is intimidated. But the one who speaks Arabic, why he don't dare to call? As you know, we open our Skype and we say, hey, everybody is welcome. We don't even know who is calling. You don't even need to challenge me to take your call. Just call and make it happen. When we say to the Mohammedan that you're the one you claim that they are refuting us, they are just a bunch of jokers and they are just kids. The Muslims, you know, they think, okay, well, this guy is, uh, because he is uh, attacking Christianity, so the Christians are saying that, lying, you know, they are lying. But today we have videos, and yesterday we showed you another video from Muslims, if you remember. A Muslim video, and this is the Muslim video, you know, speaking about, those are from Saudi Arabia, this is not from America. Uh, saying all kind of stuff about Mrs. Uh, Ibn Farouk. But today, uh, somebody, sent, somebody sent me an, a video of uh, a brother, his name is Adam Seeker. I don't know if you know his videos. Actually, his channel is down in the info. I, I encourage you to support him and subscribe to his channel. Uh, as I know, Adam, he is one of those who left Islam after listening to me, and him and his family too, all of them. Uh, and now he is making videos exposing them. So actually, it was his video who recommended to me, and then I went uh, behind this. to the original channel. Actually, this is Adam Seeker channel. I advise you to go and subscribe to him, as you see. Uh, and he showed where this video is coming from. So I went to the video, the original video, where it's coming from. But the good thing in his video, he made it uh, like instead of watching 46 minute video, you know, blah, 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 talking about Ibn Farouk, so he bet for you, uh, like what is important really? So those are two Muslims from Pakistan, you know, I guess. And uh, they speak Arabic, uh, they knew Arabic supposedly, they are sheikhs. And now because they are sheikhs and they speak Arabic, as they claim, they are exposing the stupidity of Ibn Farouk. But I can tell that those both two, their Arabic is horrible too. Because they only, I mean, I mean, from all the garbage he said, this is what you find only. I mean, this guy, whatever he said, Arabic is wrong. <laughs> but look what he's, what look, look what they said in this video. Listen carefully. Salah behind this individual is absolutely impermissible. I'm not. Do you hear what he said? It's not about his Arabic no more now. You know, it is more. Praying behind him, you see, the Muslims they have. Uh, someone they call him a sheikh or imam. The imam is somebody he lead the prayer, and I don't know why you need even somebody to lead the prayer. I mean, can't you pray to God without somebody leading the prayer? 
Now, some might some might say, well, don't you have a priest? But we don't have a priest. We don't need a priest to lead a prayer. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, Islam is really a joke. I mean, if you are praying to God, what what uh, what a prayer leader mean? I mean, why you need somebody in the front of you? And now those people they are listening to him, and they notice that because he doesn't speak Arabic, he is even changing the Quran. He's not only don't know Arabic, for you who do not speak Arabic, he sound like, you know, he's speaking Arabic. In case you do not know, there's many languages in Islamic countries, they, uh, they, have, they use Arabic letters, but they don't know Arabic. So for them, if we show them uh, something written in Arabic, they can read it. They can read Arabic, Ar they can read, but, but this is not their language. Still, they don't understand. Like for me, I can read Pharisee. As an example, if I open now the Quran, let me open the Quran for you in Pharisee. Uh, the Persian language. The Persian language is not Arab language, but since Islam occupy and Islam conquer, and Muslims they force everybody to forget about their culture. So the Arabic Islam is an Arabic religion. As simple as that. Islam is an Arabic religion. So if we go and look for Pharisee, let me see Pharisee. Uh, where is the Pharisee? Trying to fair. Pharisee, Pharisee. I'm, I'm just trying to find the Quran in the Persian language. But actually, if I show you here, look, see, this is here. If I Look here, look how many they sound, they look like Arabic for you. You know, this is Kurdish. This is Kurdish. But this Kurdish is not, I don't understand Kurdish, I don't speak Kurdish. But when you look in the, in the text, it sounds like Arabic, you know. Uh, this one it says Kurdish, but Arabic letters. Uh, this one here, Persian. Let us see the Persian. Persian. Uh, we found the Persian one. Okay, so if you look now at the Persian, this is the Persian language. If you look at the right, and you look at the left, look the same. It's the same. <laughs> so this is what this potato, the ketchup boy, he do. He is reading in his own language, using our letters, Arabic letters. He don't, he don't speak Arabic, he don't know Arabic. And because it's part of their language, they are using our letters. So all what you need to do, just read the letters. So he can read here, he can read, but he don't, he don't know Arabic, you know. However, this guy he claimed he have a master degree in Hadith. You know, you don't study, you don't have a master degree in Hadith by studying Hadith in English. You have to know Arabic, literally, and then you claim to be a sheikh. And uh, sheikh mean as a person who have to recite the Quran. You have to read the Quran in Arabic, not in any language. You cannot read the Quran in a different language when you pray. You know, the Islamic, as we said, Islam is a, a, a Arab supremacist cult. Everybody have to bow down to the Arab God, speak the Arab language, pray in the Arabic language, even if they do not know the Arabic language. So those guys, they sit together, and they say to themselves, how in the world this guy, he called himself a sheikh? And why he is lying to people saying he's a sheikh? Is he a sheikh? Obviously he's not. Because a person who is a Muslim sheikh, the minimum requirement is to know Arabic. You see, this is why the Muslim they call they call Didat Sheikh Didat, but Didat don't speak Arabic. So he's not a sheikh. Zakir Naik don't speak Arabic, he's not a sheikh. So how do they become scholars? In Islam, it is a must. You don't know Arabic, you are nobody. So those two, Abdul, they are sitting there and they are talking about why Sheikh Uthman is disqualified to be considered anything. Behind this individual is absolutely impermissible. I'm not a mufti, but I will hear, I will issue a fatwa, Salah behind Uthman bin Farooq, okay? al miskin. Al Miskin. You know Miskin in Arabic. 
uh, in, in the Muslim language, let's say, the Muslim language, when they call somebody miskeen, uh, like he is a uh, stupid and we feel sorry for him, you know, like he's, you know, like, we, he, we cannot humiliate him more than he is already humiliated, you know what I mean? And miskeen. So this is a Pakistani guy, he learned two Arabic words maybe, and he recites Quran by the way, and I heard him recite in Arabic. But I invite him to call me and show me how good he is in Islam anyway, including Arabic. <laughs> as long as you are making fun of Osman ibn Farouk, I want to see how, how this beard will work. Why the Muslims avoid talking, you know, call me, I will not speak to you nice. And let us see how you can do better than Uthman. Uthman is a fool, I understand. I mean, those guys do too, too. They did not notice that Uthman even teaching that Muhammad is the Messiah. Are you telling me until now you never heard Uthman saying that Muhammad is just another Messiah? Abraham is a Messiah? Moses is a Messiah? This is a new religion. This is a new religion. There's no Muslim believe there's Muhammad is a Messiah. In any way, in any mean. So, like if you try to make it, uh, to fix it, he says, in the meaning of bringing uh, religion, uh, Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad is a Messiah. No. There's only one person, his name is the Messiah. You are a fraud. So why those Muslims from the beginning did not go and expose him that he is fooling and lying? I will tell you why. After we exposed him and his smell became so stinky, it is too much to cover up, otherwise they were covering up. Now you notice that this guy is horrible? Now you notice that this guy don't know Arabic? Now? I mean, this guy is in the internet for more than a year or two, I don't know. He become famous after the silly visit of uh, David Wood. David Wood decided to do a philosophy class. So he went all the way to San Diego and he took with him two musketeers and they went to the booth of Uthman and they did not debate him. They started talking about philosophy. <laughs> And then Uthman became, became famous, thanks to David Wood, the philosopher. So, uh, so all this time you did not notice that this guy is saying stupid things. Like, did you see the intro of my video? In the video, it says, Uthman, he said, that Muhammad is not Abrahamic. Muhammad is what? He is not Abrahamic. Watch it. Eh? Listen. I mean, do you know why we have those characters in our intro? Because they are the idiot of the village. They are the best to help us to expose Islam. We can't find better people than them. This is your friend Uthman saying that Muhammad is not Abrahamic. So all of you Muslims, you lie to us. When you say Muhammad, he was worshiping Abraham and he is from Ishmael. And the guy that, you know, he just smashed the whole religion. And he said, Muhammad is not Abrahamic. He, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Honest mentioned if this book was from other than Did you hear it? Pagan. Honest. The people of Mecca were Abrahamic faith. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. He doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? He, he doesn't know who Gabriel is. <laughs> I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. So Muhammad, he, he became a prophet. And he never heard of Gabriel. Just take a note, Abdul. That's mean he never know the God of Abraham. Because there is no way this guy, I mean, he just said, we heard him saying he's the Abrahamic. He doesn't even know what, who is Gabriel. So what this guy was doing for 40 years, watching cartoon? <laughs> All of them, they want to debate me face to face. Face to face, Christian Prince, I challenge you. And this guy, he called me Christian princes, wearing burqa. Oh, burqa. <laughs> the Fifi, I will go, Fifi, I will go all the way to America. All the way to America, I challenge him. He's a coward, he's hiding, you know. But what the heck? Why you wanna go to America, my friend? We can't do it now. <laughs> what this drama is about? Maybe hijab, who are you going to debate? Christian uh, Chris Prince, sure, sure, sure. He called me, he hung up on me, and he did not let me even say a word. Did you say that? Yes, I did say that. I was quoting your stupid prophet. <laughs> he hung up on me. What the heck?
So now those two Abdul's are feeling so upset because this guy is really screwing around with their religion. And look how friendly their faces there is, you know? Masha, smash Allah. You know, so you know, look what we, the Arab, what we did to those people. We, you know, we went there, we occupied their land mostly. We forced them to change their names. They start dressing like us. Look at them. <laughs> Why are you dressing like an Arab? Are you an Arab? <laughs> I mean, what, what, what a fraud. Uh, you see, Islam is not a religion. Islam is how to humiliate other nations. The Arab supremacist. So I go to Pakistan, you have to say my words. You have to use our names. You have to wear our clothing. Even your food, you have to eat as we eat. You are subdued. And now those two guys are giving advice. And actually, if you, if you read the video title, by the way, it says, Salafi Uthman ibn Farooq, what a joke. I mean, do you see the title of the video? This is not my title. Salafi Uthman ibn Farooq, what a joke. Salafi mean those who follow the old style of Islam, like Salaf is the previous generation, the one goes all the way supposedly to the companion of Muhammad, who they are nothing but a bunch of thieves and gangs and rapists. <laughs> this guy is Salafi, this guy is an idiot. I mean, you go and see how he was talking to the, to the homosexual, almost he gave them a hug, and suddenly he became so peaceful and so friendly, and you know, <laughs> yeah, he lived in America, but he can do. <laughs> So those guys, they are trying to find a solution, how we can fix it. I mean, this guy, he making big poo, poo and his poo, poo became so wide, and the smell is all over. So now we are going to fix it. How? We warn the Muslims, and we tell them, this guy is doing poo, -poo. He is not doing dawah. This is poo, poo friend. Fatwa, salah behind Uthman bin Farooq, okay? Al-miskeen, yak al-jahil, al -jahil. is haram. You know al-jahil? Al-jahil means the ignorant. Jahil, you know, the, the, the Muhammadan, they call a, a, a relative of Muhammad, his, supposed his uncle, they call him Abu Jahl. Abu Jahl, the father of ignorance. For sure, this is a fake name. I mean, they, they, Islam is the religion of a bully, you know? They bully. The second you don't agree with them, they start bullying you. But in this case, they are bullying the guy, yes, but he is a bully himself, right? And he is a stupid too. And he claim what he don't have. I mean, at least go and read. I mean, how in the world this guy, he recite Quran, and he did not know how to read the Quran. And now those two Abdul, they gave us example of how he do not know how to read the Quran. Definitely. He's not reliable. He's going to change. He's not reliable, brother. <laughs> disciplines. He's a Google Sheikh. You is haram. Definitely. He's not reliable. He's going to change the disciplines. He's a Google Sheikh. You know, Google Sheikh. I like that, you know. I wish he's a Google Sheikh. Because Google Sheikh, at least he can get some answers to be correct. This guy, he is not a Google Sheikh, my friend. <laughs> he's a Google Sheikh. You wish. You wish. You know, and by the way, your prophet is not a, it's not a goal, a goal of prophet. You know, if I search right now, how long the sperm will live inside the women in Google search engine? We will find it says five days. If we ask your prophet, he will say 40. So who is the Google Sheikh? What's wrong with Google Sheikh? <laughs> how long semen live? Here we go. I ask a uh, Google Sheikh, you know, <laughs> five days. If we go and ask your prophet, it's 40 days. <laughs> so you need to fix your, uh, your, uh, your, uh, like your logic. Uh, uh, Google, 
don't give you stupid questions, uh, sorry, answers usually, unless it's written by a stupid person. Uh, but your prophet, he gave us stupid things. When your prophet, he claimed that the women, you know, when she have a, a sex with the man, uh, the sperm of the man, he will stay there for 40 days. He will be collected. The semen is, you as a human, by the way, you are a collection of semen, not one semen. So you will be collected in the, in the belly of your mother for, for 40 days. 40 days you are alive there, brother. Yes, brother. And uh, <laughs> let me find you the hadith because I don't want people to say I, I, say, I just said something uh, is not uh, not true. See, we use Google when we need to because we are using the internet, but uh, we use their Muslim website, and that is the best. Let us see. Me. This is the prophet of Allah. Genius. He knows everything. He knows everything. Look at this. Who can beat that? And this is in Al Bukhari and Muslim. Smash Allah. The Messenger of Allah, and look, the, uh, the, the Messenger of Allah have a degree, by the way. I mean, did you notice the Muslim, they say, right away, when you say, uh, you, you read Muhammad's name, they say BBUH, it's like a, it's like a certification, you know, like BBUH. They can't even say his name without, without him, uh, uh, praising and worshipping, you know, I mean, who is, who, uh, you know, we Christian, we worship Christ, and we say Christ, we don't say peace be upon him. And he is our God. So the truth for the receiver of the truth, brother, that's deep. I mean, who can beat that? Muhammad is a receiver of a truth, brother. He used to work in a Wi-Fi transmission, <laughs> G5. He is the coming future of six, G6, brother. G6, not J6, okay? Well, this is the future of Islam, supposedly. You go to heaven, you do nothing but sex. So the truth for the receiver of the truth, I mean, he receive a lot of truth, we have to admit. Okay, what he said, the receiver, please, Mr. Receiver, can you tell us what you received? So now the prophet, you know, because he is the receiver of uh, prophethood and messages from God and everything, everything he knew is coming from God, remember that. And you know, the funny hadith saying that Muhammad used to receive the inspiration from Allah as a sound of a bell. And then the funny is how he received it in the sound of a bell and then it came in Arabic. So I assume that Mr. Sheikh Ibn Farooq, he should sound like a bell from now on. Do you think that Allah, he gave him a sound of a bell and then Muhammad, he translated that? So now let us see what Prophet Muhammad, the receiver of the truth, we, he got from a message from God. He just received it. He just received it. You heard it. You heard it yourself. The Prophet who received the truth only, uh, he informed us saying, the creation of you, humans. Look at Muhammad, you look at you down like, <laughs> you are humans, <laughs> your creation. <laughs> By the way, this is how I talk to people too, right? You know, I, I, you know, I go to the store, I say to the women behind the cashier, I say, you human, how much you charge me? <laughs> and she look at me and she say, what the heck? Where this guy he think he's coming from? <laughs> human, okay. Is gathered in the form of semen in the womb of your mother for 40 days. So Abdul, you are upset from the stupid Ibn Farooq that he says stupid things, and you are not upset from your prophet saying all this dumb, all this poo-poo, 40 days. 
And uh, uh, what the seaman is doing there for 40 days? Unbelievable. So you're upset from Ibn Farouk and his stupidity, but you're not upset following a prophet like this? 40 days. Then we go to Google. It says that semen can live for a maximum of five days. So in this scenario, brother, who is better and more qualified to be a Sheikh? Sheikh Gogol or Sheikh Muhammad or Sheikh Ibn Farooq or you? <laughs> I say Sheikh Gogol is doing better than all of you together and you are a horrible teacher to teach us anything. And look, the prophet, the truthful. He is the truthful. He received this from God, brother. You see, many of us, we receive messages, but not from God. Like, you receive message in Skype, maybe from your cousin. Uh, he received message in, uh, you know, in uh, WhatsApp. The other one, he received a message in uh, TikTok. The prophet, he received message from Zibril. Zibril. And Zibril don't lie, Muhammad don't lie, Allah don't lie. So how we can receive a lie? It's impossible. Is it, this is a lie or not? And if you read it, if you continue reading, you will die more laughing, actually. <laughs> so those Abduls, you know, I see here like a very clear form of hypocrisy. If you are a, if you are a person who speak against strong, well, you should go and be against your prophet because nobody teach stupid things as your prophet did. I believe Uthman is just a victim. He's trying to do uh, his job. I mean, he's a Muslim, what he can do. And he want to show the Christian that they are wrong. And you know, the prophet taught us we can do taqiyya, which means we can lie. So what the problem? As long we are allowed to lie, brother. What's your problem? Hmm? We go back to the video to understand more. Why Prophet Ibn Farooq, peace be upon him, he is not qualified to be the last messenger of Allah. Look at this guy at his eyes. Look, let me zoom in, let me zoom in when he talk. Fatwa, Salah behind Uthman bin Farooq, okay? Al Miskin, yak Al Jahil is haram. <laughs> It's haram, brother. It's haram. Haram. Abdul, hey, let me correct you. No, it's not haram. Do you remember when the caliphate, he received a complaint from Abdul like you? And he said, we get tempted by a homosexual imam. Hmm? And he still them. Um, Caliphate, he says, so what? The Muslim guy, he said to him, we are being tempted by his mom. <laughs> so if a homosexual in Islam, you can be your imam. And you Muslim, you claim that you are against homosexuality. And then we find that your prophet himself was a homo. His uncle was a homo. And the whole family was a homo. Read my book, Six and Allah. And your God, Allah, is a homo, and we can prove it. But look at this. This is the caliphate, and this is Sahih al-Bukhari. So don't tell me this is a weak hadith. This person, he came to the caliphate, and, uh, oh, hold on, this is, yeah, this is the hadith. We can read this one. So he came, he went to Uthman. This person, his name, uh, حدثنا قال محمد بن يوسف حدثنا الأوزاعي حدثنا بلا 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 عن عبيد الله بلا 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 so uh, 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 عبيد عبيد الله بن عبدي بن خيار her name is خيار cucumber ما شاء الله that he enter into uh, عثمان عثمان بن عفان you know بن فاروق بن فاروق himself while he be assigned which means he became the caliphate so he said to him uh, you are the chief of the Muslims in general, and you see what befell to you. We are led 
in salat prayer by a leader of al fitna look what the heck fitna he is doing fitna fitna troublemaker <laughs> troublemaker temptation you know like uh, you know mean too much uh, garbage trial afflictions etc etc look the muslim explain it to you what what fitna mean then and we are afraid of being sinful uh, in being following him Uthman ibn Farooq said <laughs> Salat, the prayer is the best of all deed, brother. So when the people do the good deed, brother, do the same as they do the brother. And avoid those who do bad deed, brother. As Zuhri said, in our opinion, one should not afford, uh, uh, offer Salat behind a feminine person unless there is no alternative. <laughs> Sahih al-Bukhari, what a scandal. Unbelievable. Hmm. Okay, we go back to the video. I mean, when this video is going to be over? We did not even start 20 seconds of the video and we made a scandal out of it. What the heck? When this guy will play the video so we can hear what he said? Ah, this Christian prince, he keep making comment, making comment. You know? Unbelievable. Don't never give him the mic. The second you give him the mic, things go wrong brother right so okay so now this guy is not good to be a shake we get that why why what happened what happened explain to us brother more because you know we are not we don't know arabic like you like stanny boys <laughs> Definitely. Hold he's on. not reliable. He's, he's gonna not? change the what? disciplines. He's a Google Sheikh. You can tell he Google stuff. Definitely. He's been done recently for plagiarism. Yeah. He right? What? 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 He didn't. Uh, what? Definitely. He's been done recently for plagiarism. Yeah. Yeah. What? Right? what? He Google stuff. Definitely. He's been done recently for plagiarism. What? He's been done recently for plagiarism. What? He's been done recently for plagiarism. He's been done recently for plagiarism. Yeah. yeah. What? Why? Hold on. Why are you are saying that? You are a liar. Ibn Uthman, Ibn Farooq, he is following the steps of the Prophet. If we ask your Prophet, where he got his story about Al-Khadr? <laughs> what about Alexander the Great, the guy with the two horns, Zulqurnayn, or the seven sleepers? <laughs> or Suleiman is speaking to the, or listening to the ant, all of them they are stolen from somebody. So why, why Uthman ibn Farooq, he cannot do what the Prophet did? I don't understand, brother. Explain yourself to me, please. Please, please. Right? He's stealing oh, whole, whole section to be a local Imam. You are not fit to do a nikah? What the heck? You are not fit to do F people? Suppose it is Gabdul. He want to say you are not fit to do marriage. You know, it's a marriage ceremony. <laughs> I mean, this is how stupid those people are. The word nikah means to F somebody, not to marry somebody. <laughs> how we can prove that? You know? Muhammad, he says, <clears throat> when your wife, she have menstruation, do everything with her except nikah. <laughs> oh boy. He is not fit to do nikah. What do you mean? His penis is not working? What the heck? Why are you getting so personal, my friend? Come on. Don't go that far. Hmm? Look what the Prophet said about nikah. What nikah is? The Muslim, they fool you. They don't speak Arabic. I mean, this is our language. Nikah means to F somebody. So this is your Prophet saying, when your wife, when your women, she have menstruation, do everything except nikah. You see it? And this is the word nikah in Arabic. So nikah is not marriage as they lie to you. I remember once uh, a, a, a Muslim kid, he went and he said, in the Bible translation, there is the word nikah. I searched, I found that uh, 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 the translation. I did not find that word nikah, but then Maybe somebody fix it, correct it for this guy. But then we found that this guy is called the Vandik, and he is a person who learned Arabic from Muslims. So he is using the word nikah, but this is translation, and we don't accept it. Muslims, they have a million translations for the Quran. This is a false, and we Christian, we will never use the word nikah. 
So this is a fool. He learned from the Muslims that the word nikah is used for them now as a word mean marriage. But the word nikah means to F somebody and the proof is in front of you. What the Muslim translate the word nikah here? He says everything except sexual intercourse. You see it? Do everything with them. They are their wives. This is not a woman you will marry. Hmm? And you will notice Muhammad is always, he is under the influence of the Jews for every decision he makes. Do everything except nikah. Isna'u kulla shay illa nikah. Do everything except nikah, which means to F somebody. So now this guy, he want to say to you that uh, uh, Ibn Farooq is not a qualified to do uh, nikah, which means, according to his understanding, marriage, you know? Uh, why? Let us say he meant marriage, and this is what it meant, right? Why? What happened exactly? Why he cannot do the marriage? Why? For anyone? You are not fit to make Jumal Khutbah, you are not fit to lead a prayer. But okay, you need to get your own uh, Tajweed check yeah. because in your own prayer, you still need to recite Quran Mujawadan. You need to recite the Quran Mujawadan. Yeah, but this guy do not even need how, do not know how to read two words in the Quran, not even in the Hadith. Do you remember when he was talking to those guys, you know, in, in San Diego? And he was reading for them, supposed in Arabic, and I was dying laughing. What kind of Arabic this Arabic is? Masahat, al Masahat. Well, we never heard of this word, but you know, al Masahat. <laughs> so please go back to school, uh, young boy, and so, get, get, you know, like I was saying, this guy, he's going around acting like a sheikh. Telling people, well, you've got that stupid Dawah man next to him, telling people he's got a master's in Hadith. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I saw the master. He wrote, you know, actually, I saw ketchup on it too. <laughs> you know, guys, how somebody, he have a master's degree in Hadith, and he do not know how to read Arabic? That's a good question. So you study Hadith in which language? It's like, you know, maybe some people don't understand, like, you can be a Christian priest and you don't speak Hebrew or Aramaic or Greek. You can. Because, you know, Christianity is not based on a language. It's based on the meaning of the teaching. We do not need to pray in Hebrew or in Greek language or in Aramaic language. We can pray in any, our language. We can speak to God in any, even if you are mute, you speak in your heart, in your mind. Islam is different. Islam is Arabic, Arabic, Arabic. The prayer in Arabic, the reading in Arabic, the recitation in Arabic, even their names have to change to be Arabic. So this guy, he claimed that he have a master degree, but he do not know how to read Arabic. How he got his master degree? Ketchup, thanks to Mr. Ketchup. He wrote his degree by ketchup. Young boy, and you so, get, get, you know, like I was saying, this guy, he's going around acting like a sheikh, telling people, well, you've got that stupid dawah man next to him, telling people he's. My brother, my brother, why you call the guy stupid dawah next to him? Why you are doing that, brother? Have you ever heard of a Muslim is a stupid, first of all? Being a Muslim, my friend, being a Muslim, already you are smart. Already you are smart. Look. You are following a prophet who promised you a lot of virgin in heaven. That is a smart promise. And this is a proof that he is not a pimp. He is a true prophet. And you have a God who is right now working, making those women and shaving their legs and making them so smooth. It takes Allah 1,000 years to smooth the skin of each one of them. I mean, this God is so slow. If it's going to take him 1,000 years to smooth the skin of each one of them, I mean, this guy, he never heard of Vaseline. Why you don't create them right away with the smooth skin? Why you are smoothing them now? I mean, thousand years to smooth it, why? I mean, isn't the most time they say, if Allah wants something, he say, bay, it's going to be. So now he created the women and her skin is so bad, so bad. 
Now I understand why women, they put lotion, man. They are doing the act of Allah. They are trying to be smooth. <laughs> I better stay away from this topic if I will live. <laughs> it's not safe. It's not safe to go in that direction. So, okay, so brother, what happened? What happened? Acting like a sheikh, telling people mujawadan. So please go back to school, uh, young boy, and you so, get, get, you know. Like yeah. Young boy? Go back to school, young boy. I mean, come on. That's too much. The guy, he have a big belly, and he is a hero. I was saying, this guy, he's going around acting like a sheikh. Huh? What do you mean? He's acting like a sheikh, huh? Did you see how he challenged Christian Prince? If he is not a sheikh, how he challenge Christian Prince saying to him, Christian princes wear a burqa. Come here if you are a man. <laughs> And my friend, I have invitation for both of you. As long as you claim to be sheikh, can you come here and shake our faith? Can you? I mean, Uthman ibn, ibn Farouk is a coward, and he's a potato, and he's intimidated. He's afraid. If I ask him to read to one, one verse from the Quran, he will not be able to read it. And I know, this is why he is not even coming. It's very embarrassing. What about you both? Both you are blah, 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 blah. And you are sheikhs. And supposedly you know Arabic very well. I invite you, you are welcome. I want to see if you are the same quality of Uthman ibn Farouk or better. Because talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. So you are going after this guy and his stupid mistakes because he's stupid, I have to agree. But are you smarter? Prove it. Call us. Telling people, well, you've got that stupid Dawaman next to him, telling people he's got a master's in Hadith. What type of master's in Hadith is this? That this man can't read a verse of the Quran correctly whilst looking at it. He cannot read the verse in the Quran while he is looking at it. Did you, did you hear? So, you know, I remember once uh, the Indonesian Muslim, they made a video. Say, Christian friends do not know Arabic. <laughs> oh, no, no, hold on. Mimi Hijab, when I spoke to him, he says to me, can you recite this verse for me? And he played, the, he played my recitation. I said, you idiot, you just did. I just did. Isn't this my voice? <laughs> I mean, look how stupid they are. He's asking me to recite the verse. And he played my voice, reciting the same verse. So why are you asking me? I just did. You see, this is my voice. Do you have a problem with it? <laughs> they are so cute. Unbelievable. They are so flexible. Very flexible. You can put them anywhere you want. You know what I mean. Okay, this is now, uh, this is our friend here, Adam Seeker speaking. I will skip this part, by the way. The link for his video is down there. You can watch his video. It's in the info. And, uh, and, the, and the link for those guys too is there too. You can watch their, their, their video. Now, now here, here things will get, will get even more horrible. Uh, uh, Sheikh Uthman is going to read. You want to hear Uthman reading? The end. He's, he's changing the words. He's not only to not know how to read, he is changing, he is, he is adding new words in the Quran. Unbelievable. Okay, Abdul. So, this is the problem now with this. Isn't it, isn't it your Muslim says that the Prophet received seven Quran? Uh, make it eight. I mean, come on. Seven Quran. He, by the way, why Prophet Musa did not receive seven Torah and Abraham received seven uh, whatever and Musa's uh, and uh, Jesus, why nobody received seven books? Your Prophet, he lived in 711. You know, what are your Prophet? He did. Why he received seven books, huh? Seven Quran? And then the Muslim they said to us, the Quran is a buzzard. And the Quran is so clear. When the Quran says, oh, sorry, Muhammad, he said, Allah, 
that the reason Allah sent seven Quran because it's impossible for the Muslim to understand one Quran. Guys, listen, listen. <clears throat> I want to show you, I want to show you something. You like my English, don't you? Be honest with me. Like sometimes people, they try to correct me. Thank you very much, by the way, correcting me in my English. But trust me, 50% of those who listen to me, they like my accent. They love it, you know? Like I speak to people, they say to me, where, 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 where are you from? I feel like I'm an alien, you know, like those American, they're asking me, where are you from? I look like, I look down at them. <laughs> they speak good English. <laughs> I don't. And they are asking me, where are you from? They have a nice accent. I feel so proud. They don't want to say to me, your words is wrong. You have a nice accent. And I know what they mean exactly. Like, what the heck he is saying? Uh, we have no idea. <laughs> anyway, this is a true story, by the way, Sayyid Bukhari. So, uh, the Prophet, he claimed that Allah, he sent him the Quran. One Quran first. Then, Muhammad, like, he scratched his head and he scratched other places. And then he told Zabril, you know, Zabril is the guy, the pizza boy, you know, like, you know, Tony, come Tony, go Tony, you know. So Zabril is the, you know, the pizza boy. They always, you know, this guy, he sent the pizza boy always. So, uh, uh, so uh, Muhammad told Zabril, please be upon him, uh, listen to me. My people, they cannot uh, understand one Quran. They are not capable. What the heck? Look, look, all this is Sahih. This is very Sahih. This is Sahih. So don't tell me this is weak and uh, you know this garbage, right? Yeah. So uh, uh, Allah told him one Quran. Muhammad he reject. He said no way. Do you know how stupid my people are? Allah did not understand. I mean, what do you mean? You know, Allah is not an Allah is not an Arab. Remember that. I mean, he speak Arabic, yes, but he did not live between us. So he did not understand. So Muhammad explained to him. He says, listen, Khabibi, listen. My people cannot do one Quran. So Zabril went to Allah and he asked Allah to give another Quran. The same Quran, by the way, it's the same Quran, but different words. <laughs> so he went up to the sky, he told Allah, Allah, he gave him second Quran, different way. Muhammad, the angel came to him, he said, okay, Allah, he gave you second Quran. Muhammad said to him, Khabibi. Habibi, you have no idea. My people are very slow. They cannot handle one Quran. Zabril, he went to the sky again. And he sent him another, look, look at the translation here. The guys, look at the, look at the Western translation. Another style. Look at the style. The style is different, brother. The style. <laughs> <laughs> my people they are not capable of reciting one quran they cannot which means they don't understand they can't you know so allah he sent him third quran he said to him my people are not capable for you know to one quran to two three quran they want more so uh, you know allah sent him the fourth quran fifth quran sixth quran seventh quran etc but the reason for the slides muhammad he made is the following story as you see here there's two muslims they were reciting the quran but reciting the same verses supposedly i heard hisham ibn hakim or hakim reciting surat al-furqan during the lifetime of allah messenger so muhammad was alive i listened to his recitation and i noticed he recited in a way other than allah messenger he taught us did you hear it this is different from what Muhammad said before. I was about to jump over him while he was still in prayer. But I waited patiently. And then when he finished the prayer, I put my sheet around his neck and I pulled him like a goat, you know. And he said, who has taught you this surah which I have heard you reciting? Hmm? Hisham said, Allah Messenger taught me to say it. The guy, the other guy said to him, you are a liar. 
करते हैं लाई और ही थॉट मी द सेम सोर एज द सेम वर्स एज इन डिफरेंट वे फ्रॉम द वे यू आर सेन एट विच मीन डिफरेंट वर्ड्स देन आई स्टार्टेड लीडिंग ड्रैग द गाय टू अल्लाह मैसेंजर एंड आई सेड ओ प्रॉफिट ऑफ अल्लाह I have heard this man reciting the Surah Al-Furqan in in a way you have not taught me. The messenger of the Prophet he said, "Okay, uh, <clears throat> Umar, release him, release him, recite here, Hisham, recite for us." Hisham start reciting. So he is reciting the way I heard him reciting. Allah Messenger said, "Oh, it was revealed like this." <laughs> And then he said to the other guy, "Now you recite it, Omar. Okay, Omar, go." Omar he start reciting different way. Muhammad he said to him, "Oh, okay, this is the correct way too. Allah he give me the Quran in seven ways. So look what happened. If the companion of Muhammad they heard this before, they will not fight, right? If Muhammad said to them, 'Well, Allah he gave me the Quran in seven ways, they will not be surprised from each other them saying it in different ways, right?'" But they were surprised to the point they will fight. So obviously Muhammad now is trying to cover his ass and his lies. He could not recite the same verses twice as he did before. He add words, he forget words, he take words, he change words, claiming now that there is a seven way And this is obviously proof that he is a false prophet. The most time they say that the Quran written by the Almighty God or sent by the Mighty God, and it is in the best Arabic. Is that correct? Well, if it's in the best Arabic, why Allah He need to rewrite His Quran seven times to make it clear to them? Do you understand me, people? If Allah He make the recitation clear, and He made the Quran clear, and Allah is writing a clear Arabic, do I need imagine I have my books, I I will rewrite the deception of Allah seven times. Why? Because first time people could understand, second time they could not understand, third time it's not working, fourth time, five time. What a horrible author! So if the Quran written by the Almighty God. Then the Almighty God, He did not need to rewrite His book many times in order to make it clear to them or make them capable of doing it. And then we find a verse from the Quran. It says, "Allah will cause the Quran." To be forgotten, chapter two, verse one o six. None of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten. Muhammad he forgot Quran, and now he is claiming that the one who make him forget it, it's Allah. But ask yourself, why does God he want to send a word of God, and he want you to forget his words? What sense? And the same time, the Muslim they say to us that Allah He will never allow the Quran to be destroyed, will forgotten is destroyed, is gone. And then, but we substitute and look at the word abrogate. Why Allah is abrogating His Quran in the same day? If you go and read the interpretation for this, you will find that the Arab they were saying to Muhammad, they were saying. Muhammad he made Allah he received Allah from his God in the morning he changed it second morning he changed it second morning not even second year chapter 2 verse 106 and as you see we are not going to show you my own interpretation you know I'm not a Muslim I'm not a sheikh I'm not a follower so I will go and see what they say what they believe right so this this person, as you see here, this is Tafsir Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad. This is a person who was live, alive in the time of Muhammad. So it says here, 
in the reference of the claim of Quraysh. Quraysh is the tribe of Muhammad who said that the Prophet uh, Muhammad, why you command to do something, then you forbid it saying, do the opposite. Okay, how long? Is it something will Muhammad, he changed his mind second year, 10 years after? No. A day after. Sometime even eight hours after. Read. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. When the disbeliever began to, to dry the, the matter of abrogation, saying that one day Muhammad enjoined his companion to do one thing, and then the next day he forbid it. But when? The next day? The next day. Do you see it, Muslims? This is not my statement. So, if Allah, he made Allah, and he gave us the law, and then we go to sleep, we wake up, we find that Allah, he changed the law. <laughs> Forget about yesterday, Allah. <laughs> so what Muhammad do, he says stupid things, like Ibn Farooq, but Ibn Farooq is more stubborn, you don't change it fast, you know, like he tried to cover it up. So he, he, he make a poo-poo, people start complaining about the stupidity, what he's saying, claiming coming from God. Second day he says, Allah told me, abrogate it, forget about it, that's it, Allah caused it to forget it. Allah will give us something better, and, some, and, and, and to make it even more horrible, he says something better or similar. If Allah, he is going to make a similar verse. Why you delete the previous verse if it is similar? Do you see the stupidity here? So it's like, you know, you say to me, you, bro and you, you broke my, uh, whatever, my camera. I will give you a similar camera. So why you broke my camera then? You break it in, in, in the, like you did the break, you, you meant it to, bre to break it. You took it, you smash it by your hand. This wasn't an accident. Why you broke it if you are going to give me the same camera again? So this is a Sari Muhammad trying to cover his stupidity and why he cannot make the same verse twice. So he says, if Allah, you know, he Allah, he it or cause it to be forgotten, Allah will make something better or similar? Similar, better. And look here at the stupidity again. If Allah can make Quran better than the Quran, that's mean we have to Allah. Do you see it? Somebody asking me about halal choice. Don't you see we have a topic? You are worried about halal. Any Christian he eat halal food, he is breaking the command of the God of the Old Testament. Because halal food is a food which is slaughter or meat in the name of a pagan God. His name is Allah. So Christians and Jews, they cannot eat halal food. This is a pagan God food. Did I answer you? I will never buy anything. I went to many places where all things says halal. When I was in, the, like in, the, uh, 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 in Islamic countries, and I never buy it. I don't buy it. I will never eat it. But don't focus. Don't change my question. Otherwise, I will block you. We have a topic. Don't be like a kid. So look, when Allah He said, we substitute something better. That can be true if the author is a human being and now he is going to improve his writing because maybe he went to classroom, now he improved his English or his Arabic. But God making better Quran from the Quran written by the same God, how that can be? Do you understand the point? This word alone destroy Muhammad again. Every word in this sentence here, in those phrases, is a garbage. Because what kind of God he will write better? Better mean better. You know what better mean? If I say, I am going to write a better book, that's mean I am agreeing that I can do better. And the one I did, it was worse. Is that correct? 
So when Allah is going to make a better book, that means the Quran is not a better book. Allah will make better. And that means Allah is not perfect. Because how a writing of Allah can be better than other writing of Allah? I mean, who is a stupid here? Do you see it? So if a person, he read carefully, and he is a person who go deep in the words, you will see immediately that Muhammad is a fraud. He could not repeat the same verse twice. And now he's claiming that his God caused him to forget it. And don't worry, Allah will make something better or something similar. And then Muhammad, he make more poo-poo when he claimed that he received satanic verses. And then Allah, he says, we'll take it away, don't worry. <laughs> Allah will take it away. Now, so going back to the video, and those Muslim two sheikhs are making fun of Ibn Farooq. My friend Ibn Farooq, he speak a perfect Arabic. What are you talking about? He is adding words to the Quran. What a big deal. Umar al Khattab, according to him, there is more than 70% of the Quran is missing. So maybe we can make it add more so we can fix what is missing. Like we are not asking you to read like a Qari al muqari you know, to have ijaza. All we're saying is like they say in our language, yeah, read like a bandina putter. <laughs> like a bandina putter. Our yeah. maktab kids who are six years old can differentiate between is alif kasra zal or in the Indo pak Is is alif kasra? <laughs> Is is Alif Kasra? Is Alif Kasra? Mm. Let us let us give you a Kasra. Uh. This is what he is talking about in the screen. Where is the Kasra? Um, maybe he means the Kasra in the under the Hamza. Ah, uh, maybe yeah. Mm. <laughs> So the problem, brother, he is changing the words of the Quran. But I find that this is not a problem. Look at the translation. Each one of you, he add the words is not there. Every translation is very different. And by the way, Muslims, the guy, his name is Luta. Luta? Who is Luta? You see, the Muslim says, Lut or a lot lot right in arabic here <clears throat> luta what that what what then what that name mean luta hey muslims do you know what the name mean oh we stole the name from other people so we do not know what they mean and that's why we always say the names wrong so jesus became isa and uh, uh and uh, john became Yohanna. Sorry, Yahya, <laughs> and and <laughs> and uh, what's his name? Uh, Enoch became Idris. <laughs> so what the problem, man? He had a he had a word. The whole reading is wrong. This is what you notice now. It's a word. It's a word he added. Come on, just be more realistic. I mean, come on. He just having fun. Let us have fun. Let us be friends. Alif Zer Zal is Zel Zal Zel Zal is that Arabic Zel Zal okay Was Ida Yar why are you changing the Holy Quran He's added a a, a, a letter He who you see if you add a letter Muhammad he add verses he add the Quran you know, he forget verses he forget chapters it's okay but Uthman ibn Farooq he add a, a letter because he's right by the way because adding Adding even a tashkil in, in Arabic can change the whole meaning. Every can be flipped upside. Like there's an example of two families in the Middle East, they have a war. Not it's actually two parties, you know, but based on families. Because an article written and in the article in the newspaper, they added a dot. A dot. 
and shooting started and people die and you know so adding letter is a big deal because the whole thing can change okay what about we show you that the quran reading have different even words and they are the opposite he's looking in and reading He's Allah says in the Holy Quran, Alladina Atayna Humul Kitaba, Yatluna Hu Hakka Tilawati. Those people who have we, we who, those people who we have given the book to, they recite it as it should be recited. See? And he have a point here. According to Islam, that Allah who gave the book to the believers, a true believer, he will recite the Quran correctly. Only false false believer, he will not be able to recite the Quran. see how dangerous what he said but look what you just did you just approve Islam to be false because you know I know everybody knows that this guy is a Muslim and if the Quran says a true Muslim believer a true believer he will be able to recite the Quran and then that experiments fail you just admitted that that mean it's not the problem of Uthman, it is the problem of Allah who did not keep his promise. Why? Because what Allah is saying, if you are a true believer, Allah will make you able, will make you able to, to recite the Quran correctly. This goes for everybody. Listen carefully for what they just said. They just got Allah busted. People who we have given the book to, they recite it as it should be recited. He's looking in and reading. He's Allah says in the Holy Quran, Alladina Ataina Humul Kitaba, Yatluna Hu Hakka Tilawati. So if we go now to the yellow page of Muhammad, and we look for the verse they are, you know, they are reading. chapter 2 verse 121 it says those whom to whom we have sent the book and here they say study by the way it doesn't say study in Arabic it says this is stupid translation they, they recite it as it should be recited let's change the translation just just to show you if you are a person don't speak Arabic they can fool you with their translation it's full of garbage uh, let us go to the front idiot But look what happened here. If you look at this verse, and those two guys, they are claiming to be sheikhs. This is a verse, Moses, Moses was speaking to the children of Israel. And Muhammad is trying to copy Musa, saying, those who follow the religion, who we gave the book to them, and the Muslim, they are adding a lot of a bracket here just to make it more clear for you, supposedly, but it's false. The one we gave the book for them, between two bracket the Quran, they recited and look what the Muslim Hidizu. They say, i.e., obey its order and follow its teaching. Recite it, it's mean obey its order. Do you see how they lie? Recite is to recite. Since when recite means to follow and to obey. There's a different word for follow and obey. So, this is a chapter about Moses. And then Muhammad, he want to explain why the Christian and the Jews, they will not accept his religion. He said, never the Jews and the Christian will be pleased with you unless you follow their religion. And here again, Muhammad proved to be fraud because you cannot, confer, you cannot convert to Judaism. You cannot. Maybe now these days you hear somebody, he became a Jew. Those are just, you know, because today, anyway, he can convert to anything these days. But a Jew, he have to be born from a Jewish family. You cannot convert to be a Jew. 
period. This is why this typical Quran says, the children of Israel, the children of Israel. So why they are called the children of Israel? Because all of them, they are the children of Israel. There's no outsiders. So when Muhammad, he made this verse, he made a pupu again, because how the Jews, they want you to follow their religion. You cannot, you're not even allowed. That is a stupid statement. But here what they are trying to say, that if you are a person who embraces Islam and you believe in Islam, then, and you are a true believer, then you should be able to recite the Quran correctly. So those two, they are saying, obviously, Uthman ibn Farooq, he is not a true Muslim, and he cannot recite the Quran. And the proof of that, the Quran itself. But here we notice, by saying that, we prove that Allah is false again, because there is no way we can say that Uthman is not a Muslim. Why he is not? He says Shahada. And you Muslims, you have to obey your prophet. The one who says Shahada is a Muslim. Even the Quran says, you do not need to be a believer to be a Muslim. As we notice in different verses in the Quran, where it says, we have two verses, two chapters, 48 and 49. They explain this matter for us. Uh, in chapter 49, verse number 14, it says, the Arab desert, they say, the desert of the, 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 the Arab of the desert, they say, we believe, say, you have no faith, but only say, we surrender to Allah, which means we became Muslim. The word submitted here means Muslim, supposedly, but this is false word. Islam means surrender, not submit. Our wills to Allah. Hmm? Uh, for not yet has faith entered your heart. So as you see, in Islam is not required for faith to enter your heart in order to consider yourself to be a Muslim. So Uthman here is proving to us again that Islam is a fraud. Why? Because Uthman, he says Shahada, but he is not a believer. Because if he is a believer, the other verse says he should be able to recite the Quran correctly. And then if we ask ourselves, if this is the proof who is a believer who is not, well, Muhammad himself cannot recite the Quran correctly. And Muhammad himself, he forget the Quran. And Muhammad himself, he receives satanic verses. Is it, this is your prophet? Uh, forgetting the Quran? Read it. Remember, the one who cannot recite the Quran correctly is not a believer. We agreed upon that, and they said that already. Those who they are believers, Allah make them recite the Quran correctly. This is your prophet. He skipped verses, he skipped words, he skipped the chapter. Read. The Messenger of Allah recited uh, Yahya and Yahya from, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay. I prayed along with, uh, with the Messenger of Allah and witnessed that he recited the Quran during the prayer and omitted something i.e. some verses. You see? Do you see they say some verses? He omitted, which he did not recite. A man said to him, uh, hey, prophet, by the way, you uh, did not mention those verses. You skipped them. The Messenger of Allah said, why did not you remind me on it, of it? Did you see it? So if the guy, you want to you know, judge him for omitting a, ver, a word or jumping a word or adding a word, this is your prophet himself, he cannot recite the Quran.
And the funny is, they say to us that the Quran is preserved in the heart of the believers. How we know now that this guy who is reminding Muhammad of the Quran is not adding his own words because Muhammad totally forgot it. And this is Hassan Hadith, which means this is a good Hadith. I didn't know this video became so long. I said to myself, let me make 15 minute video. I mean, do you see how fast my videos are there? I mean, my videos are very fast. Are we having a good time? And look, you know, YouTube is playing with our numbers. I mean, there is no way a channel have 90,000 something, and then only 530 people notified that I'm live. So please subscribe to our Patreon. You do not need to make a donation. Just because in Patreon, when I post, I'm going to go live, you will receive email right away. And you will receive notification in the app of your phone. This way we can overcome the tricks of YouTube who's trying to bury our work. But they cannot because people, they download my video, they post it everywhere, and it's all over. So now those two guys, they are continuing the drama. Those people who are we, we who, those people who we have given the book to, they recite it as it should be recited. Which means he is not from the people who are people of the Quran and Sunnah. وَأَنْجَانَ أَحْلَهُ يعني الله وَأَنْجَانَ أَحْلَهُ يعني Listen, uh, Uthman. I mean, you grow a beard. I understand. You put fertilizer. It's okay. You put glasses. You know, still you are a donkey. I mean, what, the, what, what you just said? I mean, now I have to, I have to agree with those guys. Like, what the heck, what you just said, Uthman? Just repeat again, brother. And he is reading with, this, with the glasses. You see, if the guy, let's just say, he maybe he have uh, weak vision. You know, me, myself, I don't have a good vision, especially if it's time to pay the bill. Like, you know, if you invite me for a dinner, and I will not see even the whole waiter. waiter. <laughs> like, wait, wait, the waiter is here? Where is he? Huh? I didn't see him, you know? So, Uthman now is reading the Quran, and he have all the requirement. He's wearing the hat in his head. Look, look. They recite it as it should be recited, which means he is not from the people who are people of the Quran and Sunnah. Well, and look, he is wearing the hat in his head, Smash Allah. And he have the glasses, so there's no way he cannot see. And the beard, Smash Allah, is growing fertilizer from Home Depot. And he have a bunch of books behind him, but now we prove he cannot read the books. What are you saying? Hey, Uthman, what you just said, what, what, what is that? And in Sunnah. وأنجانا أحله يعني الله وأنجانا أحله يعني الله فأنجيناه وأهله يك and with the جويد فأنجيناه وأهله فأنجيناه وأهله وقلنا لهم كلوا زكيني فإن الزكيني تصلح لفلسطيني I mean I mean, they want to sing it. Supposedly, by singing it, would make it look nicer or smarter. It's stupid. I mean, the whole story there is stupid. And Jaina Ahlahu, you Ahlahu who? Why is the the Pharaoh? He took his wife with him. You are using the wrong word. And look now, the Muslims they are showing you the letters, brother. This is turn turn an Arabic glass now. Unbelievable. Yeah, I can sing the Quran better than them. You know? And then a lot of Muslim women, they will love the Quran if it's sing by me. Unbelievable. I receive messages from Muslim ladies. They say to me, so what if your voice is sexy? I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I mean, this is a lot of hate. I was really terrified. I felt Al-Qaeda is treating me. You know? You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, so what? What a big deal, man. Let it go. Come on, let it go. ف ف فتحة زبر ف he's زبر. reading و so he can't differentiate between a ف with a dot on it and a wow 
He acts all botanified. Imagine you, put that, imagine you were in Afghanistan. They take you to a bazaar and whoop. What, what, what? If he is in Afghanistan, what they will do to him? Listen, listen, guys, things are getting really horrible. What if he is in Afghanistan reading the Quran, what they will do to him? Imagine you, put that, imagine you were in Afghanistan. They take you to a bazaar and whoop you, bro. Yeah, <laughs> masters for jahalat. You have a master of ignorance, jahala. <laughs> Oh boy. If he is in Afghanistan, they will whip his ass? I'm really disappointed of you saying that. I thought this guy is doing jihad in America and he is defending Islam, brother. And now you are telling me if you go to Afghanistan, they will whip his ass in the bazaar. And why in the bazaar? You think he is a goat or what? Why bazaar? A human bazaar? Afghanistan, they take you to a bazaar and whoop you, bro. Botanified. Imagine you put that. Imagine you were in Afghanistan. They take you to a bazaar and whoop you, bro. Yeah, masters for jahalat. Fa an jainahu. Wa. He changed fa into wa. Somebody saying, I love it when you sing the Quran. My friend, I wasn't singing the Quran. I was saying zucchini. Come on, you do not recognize the word zucchini. And now the word zucchini from the Quran. Now those two Abdul, they will make a video about me, says Christian Prince is adding the word Zakini. And he is not a sheikh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Come on. Wa an jaynahu an jahna. Ya an jayna ya. He's changing it into a ha. Who at the end is missing out? Yeah? He's missing out the Damir. Fa an jaynahu wa an jahna. Let's listen to it again. وأنجانا أهله يعني الله وأنجانا أهله يعني الله. What What do you mean يعني الله? You act like some مفسر ده صح؟ يعني الله. أنجانا أهله يعني الله. What the heck is that? I I I have I feel for those two, you know. They look like in a Borat and his the guy the short guy with him. What his name? Oh boy. Out there in you know Haram and Makki, you're fooling the people. But what I'm shocked about Mullah is the people must be daft as well. In the tenth verse, Allah subhanahu says, Daraba Allahu Mithalan Lilladina. Daraba Allahu Mithalan. Now listen, if a Christian prince he made this video, the Muslim they will say you are a liar, he speaks very good Arabic. And you are a liar, and so you do not speak Arabic. Actually, I saw some comment at the Muslim website, the same Muslim videos. I saw some comments from you guys. And the Muslim say, Christian Prince is a liar. We prove him with fact of 100 lie. You, will you prove me? Call me and show me one, you coward potato. You prove me by debating yourself? I mean, you see the comment in those in this channel there about Sheikh Uthman and his reading. Look at this guy saying, man, I was shocked seeing Sheikh Uthman not reading Quran properly. And still they are calling him Sheikh. <laughs> oh boy. Different uh, comment. Yakis, I'm shocked. That there is mistake, and you are saying that you are you found up one hundred of them. So those guys in the video, they supposedly are saying, according to this comment, they found at least a hundred mistake he did in a few videos. But I just from these a few examples, I had no idea. Osman was this incompetent look like I am no longer going to be call him Sheikh another comment some people still not understanding correctly a person who cannot recite basic Arabic book is not even allowed to study high level Quran Akida and fiqh book Never mind teaching them or going a step farther 
and uh, uh, attacking great ulama, you know, ulama, I mean, like the scars uh, of, uh, of Salaf, only people who understand Arabic or have studied with it truly know how shocking this mistakes, his mistake were. Again, he, this is, has nothing to do with his great dawa, well, Abdul, how is a great when the great dawa when we are getting him busted? And you see, he became the joke of everybody. Great dawa. <laughs> okay. I feel bad because I used to listen to him, but once I know, I I I, I, want, I once heard him recite. Ar Rahman or Rahim in a Fatiha. Uh, this Sheikh, this uh, Omar, he's saying, a gamer, gamer, his name is Gamer, saying, Great work. If Uthman cannot recite Quran, that means he is not worthy to be Imam or to be followed. And then there is a guy in the same channel there. He says, the only sheikh I listen to, his name is a Christian prince. <laughs> let me see, let me see the comment. I saw it. He said, the only sheikh I listen to, his name is a Christian prince. And you should see the Muslim respond to him. Uh, the only sheikh... I'm just trying to find that comment. And the Muslim, they start saying, Christian Prince is a liar. He is a proving with more than a hundred lie. You know, fact, brother. Uh, where is the... I don't know, maybe they, maybe they, I did not take a screenshot for it because it's about me, but it should be there. Let us see. Ah, I found it. Louis, his name is Louis, he said, Christian Prince is the only sheikh I follow. He says it was uh, uh, it, it, as it's written in the Holy Quran. And then the Muslim, they start making a reply. Christian Prince is a liar. Look, look at this. Uh, YouTube, he said, he was proven to be a liar in more than 100 cases, brother. He misguided and translated wrongly. Uh, Abdul, I read your translation. <laughs> Then uh, another response here says, then call him, put him in shame in front of his viewer should be piece of cake for you since you know what to do. <laughs> I like those guys are getting the Abdul busted in their bitches. Listen, Abdul, as long as you, you know, Christian Prince is lying, why you don't call me? And let everybody hear. Say, you said that. I'm going to expose you. You don't want to happen to you what happened to Ultimate Fort? <laughs> oh boy. This guy, he said, Christian Prince is a coward. Where, when people refuted him and exposed his lies, he mute the caller. You are just a fraud, my friend. I mute the caller when he don't want to answer or he will not let me talk. <laughs> because you Muslims are talking machine and you try to make a lot of mockery. And when you do that, I have a thousands and thousands of debates, if we can call it a debate, because Muslims don't, we don't debate Muslims really. You gotta debate a liar anyway. Uh, you will see I speak to the Muslim for an hour, two hours, three hours, get me busted. But the second you start singing for me, you don't want to let me talk, I will hang up on you. And I'm sure if I do the same to you, uh, have you ever heard of somebody calling somebody 
and he asked a question and then a second after he changed the topic because he noticed that the question is not what he thought is going to be like as an example ultimate fart <laughs> he keeps saying the f word he keeps saying filthy words i can't keep him for long i don't have patience for filthy people trashy people but if you are a person cool speak nicely you will not give me an excuse to hang up on you no because let's say i am looking for excuse to hang up on you why you give it to me don't sing don't uh, say filthy words and don't jump like a monkey from place to place we have a topic finish it so as you see things is getting horrible and more and more people are laughing and more people they are aware that so-called Sheikh Othman is a shish kebab hummus. He do not even know how to read his book. How this person even, I mean, you say, listen, I assume that this guy before he go, this is a recorded video. Before he go and make the video, he did read it. He practiced reading it. I mean, it's a verse. After practicing, still he cannot read it. There's a Muslim website, it's, I think, Quran.com. You can move the mouse of your computer over the word, and you can hear exactly the correct way to say it. So he have no excuse. And this guy, he claimed he have a master of hadith, and all the books behind him is in Arabic, but it turned to be, he do not know Arabic. كفروا من إمرة النوح وإمرة إمرة النوح إمرة النوح guys إمرة النوح those those Abdul they did not notice the second word they noticed only the first word إمرة النوح what is the word إمرة in Arabic he Sheikh Uthman I want you to create a new dictionary I just learned a new word from you there's a word in Arabic it's called إمرة let me type it in the top of your head Guys, there's a new word in Arabic. It's called Imratu. Imratu Nuh. Al Nuh. Al Nuh. Imratu an al. Let me let me change the color. Hold on. A different color. This is not a good color. People will think you're putting lipstick over your mouth. You know, that would be horrible. Okay. Imratu. Yeah. No, we can't move it. We can't see it. Let me erase it. Hold on. Oh boy. Okay, let us type it in your forehead. Imratu. Sheikh Uthman. I will give you trillion million dollar if you tell me what the word Imratu mean. Who is a Muslim in the chat who speak Arabic can tell us what the word Imra to mean? Mayday, Mayday. We are looking for rescue. What the word Imra to mean? Imra to Al-Nuh, Al-Nuh. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody he add a l to a name of a person? The only a l you can add is to the Messiah or Allah, because the Messiah is God. You can say Al Muhammad, Imrat Al Nuh. What the heck? What's wrong with you, brother? Say it again. Say it again. Just for uh, I really enjoy it. In the tenth verse, Allah subhanahu wa taala says, "Daraba Allahu mithalan lilladina kafaru min imrat al nuh wa imrat al lut." Daraba Allahu mithalan lilladina kafaru min imrat al nuh wa imrat al imrat imrat al nuh al nuh. Let me write. It. Let me type. Those Abdul to Abdul, they discover only one mistake here in this verse. But there's tons. As you see, al nuh, al nuh. You idiot. In which language it says al nuh? Al-Nuh, Ya-Nuh, Hu-Hubbuki, 
قد لهو الفؤاد and Mr. Sheikh Uthman became a barbecue and everybody laughing at your Arabic Imrat Nuh Imrat Nuh she says I am coming today for you Sheikh Uthman, he just made it. He became history barbecue. Hey, she, la 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 la. Imratun Nuh, Imratun Nuh. Are you sure? Sheikh Uthman, between me and you, and YouTube, and Instagram, and TikTok, where we can find the word Imratun Nuh? In which dictionary? In which language, brother? Imratun Nuh. That's deep. You know, like I'm not a, I'm, not, I'm not the person who is interested in philosophy. You know, but uh, like you know, you, you see people on YouTube they claim to be philosophers. You know, like uh, Mimi Hijab. He, he liked to call himself philosopher. Uh, uh, David Wood is a philosopher. Uh, for me, I am interested only in deep shit. Not deep philosophy. And this is deep shit. Excuse my language. Imratun Nuh. What is that? I know what he meant. Come on. There's a person who is telling me what he meant in Arabic. We know, we know. We know. We know. But you see, but they don't notice that the word in Al Quran written wrong. I mean, if you're God, Allah cannot even write the word women correctly. Why well, you blame the guy? Hmm? You Muslims, why you blame the guy? The word should be written like this. You see, in in my uh, in my uh, in my keyboard, I don't have uh, I don't know like how to do tashkil because my keyboard is English. Uh, but let me show you. Uh, how the correct writing the Quran have it wrong. Imra'atun. See, this is the correct way to write it. Imra'atun. If you go in the Quran, and this is what is posted by the Muslims, it is wrong. It is open T. Let me zoom in. You see the word highlighted by the Muhammadan? The red one? The difference between this one and this one? The huge. Here there's an open, there's, here there's a closed T. The last letter is T. T like in English. T. Oh. Change the language. Make it big. So in Arabic, we have open T and closed T. This is open T. And this is a closed T. Let me look for it now in the keyboard. As you know, my keyboard is not, I don't type Arabic much really. So this is the, the difference. So in the Quran is written wrong. Not only the stupid Abdul, he is reading it wrong. Even the Quran, the way it is written is wrong. If I write the Quran, the word Imrat, the same way it is written in the Quran, as we see in the screen, I will be in trouble. 
This is how the world come. The Quran is wrong. Nothing new. Garbage in, garbage out. And they claim that this is the best book ever. Everybody can see that this is open tea. Loot. Okay, fine. Okay, you can say that he just. فنزل ضرب الله مثالا للذين كفروا من إمرة النوح وإمرة لوط ضرب الله مثالا للذين كفروا من إمرة النوح وإمرة لوط ضرب الله وسط إمرة النوح برادر إمرة النوح إز كمين إمرة النوح Okay, fine. Okay, you can say that he's just playing the words, but that's not a way of reciting it. That's not a way of reciting. Daraba Allahu, Daraba Allahu. Next. No, no, no. You missed it. Yeah. Daraba Allahu, Mithalan. Mithalan. He's changing it to Mithalan. Mim zabar ma tha. See, actually, here now we have it in the screen clear. Let us zoom in. So this typical Quran they are using. Have it wrong Arabic. The word Imra'a is closed T, is not open T. This is open T. The correct way to write the word is like this. Garbage in, garbage out. Let us change the color, make it something we'll show in the dark screen. Hold on. Yellow, I think yellow will do. I'm not sure. Uh, red will not do good. Let us see the yellow. Perfect. So, do you see the difference between the word is there? And the word I just posted is a huge difference. So the one who wrote the Quran is an idiot. This is wrong Arabic. Now the Muslim they will say to you the Quran is the best of Arabic and go find me one person who will write the word Imra'at like this. Just one. The only place you will find such a stupid writing is in your book. Only. Period. Now, if we go to the verse itself, This verse here. Allah has set forth for an example to the unbelievers, the wife of Noah and the wife of Lot. They were uh, respectively, between two bracket, and are two of our righteous uh, uh, servants. But they were false to their husband. Look at the false translation. In Arabic it says, which means they betray them. They fornicate. Change the translator. Look how the translation changed. Both they betrayed their husbands. But look what this did to, to Muhammad. It's not only Sheikh Uthman makes stupid poopoo. -poo. Your prophet is the poopoo -poo maker, number one. Those are two prophets in Islam. For us, they are both are not prophets. I mean, I mean, Noah is a prophet for sure, but the Muslims, I mean, 
like the Muslim they say Adam is a prophet, uh, Noah is a prophet, Lot is a prophet, everybody in the way, Alexander the Great, you know, there's many prophets we don't count. But in this case, uh, Lot is a prophet for them, and Noah is a prophet for them, and Adam is a prophet for them. And look what happened. Muhammad, he agreed, and he says that Allah told him that Allah will marry bad women only to bad men. Bad women only to bad men. And good women only to good men. Chapter 24. And look at the lie. They say vile women for vile men. What is that? And vile men for vile women, good women, good women for good men. I will let it go as it is. But look what the stupid Muhammad he said in this verse. He claimed that Allah will make good women only marry good, good men, which means no good man will marry a bad woman. And no bad man will marry a good woman. Bad women for bad men, bad men for bad women, good women for good men, good men for, I mean, why you repeat it? I mean, it's a stupid thing. If, if, a, you know, if a bad man will, will marry only bad women, that's mean it's the same. But look what happened now. If we look at the other verse, we will find that those are two righteous men and they are prophet in Islam. But their wives are not good women. Guys, did you see what happened? Did you see how big the mistake is? If good women, they marry only good men, then how those men, women, they marry those good men, they are bad. And the verse in the front of you says, both they betrayed their husband. Add to that the story of Eve. Muhammad, he says, if not Eve, no woman betray her husband. That's mean, uh, Adam, who is a Muslim prophet in Islam, he is not a prophet for us. He was a bad person, and uh, because Eve is a bad woman. As you see. For an average person who read, you know, maybe he don't notice. But if you are a person, you know, let us say, you know, you are a deep thinker, you, you connect the dots together fast, you know, you, you have the information, you move them around, you shake them, you filter them, and then right away you will be shocked about how stupid this religion is. How in the world you keep saying that bad women for bad men and bad and good women for good men, and then we find that Noah, his wife, was a bad woman. Lot, his wife, was a bad woman. Adam, his wife, was a bad woman. I mean, what the heck with those people? And not only that, the Quran confirmed that the wives of Muhammad, they were bad women too. The Quran speak about how the wives of Muhammad, they have a strike, and even their heart became heart of kuffar. Chapter 66, verse number four. Allah, he made a threat, which is uh, Umar al-Khattab, he made this verse, Muhammad put it in the Quran. If you both, not a twain, Turn into Allah and repent. That means they are bad. And Muhammad he claimed that Allah he is a you know he is a threatening those wives. If they don't repent, Allah will divorce them, and He will replace them with real women who they are Muslims. Read it the verse after it. So this verse confirmed that Muhammad was a bad man too. Because remember, good women marry who? Good men, correct? This is what happened to you when you are reading the Quran and your name is a Christian prince. You will find the popo in every step and then the video will become endless to finish. Such a short video became a movie. Why? 
those guys they know this only this is wrong what about al nuh and how in the world you say kanata tahta abdain tahta i mean look how insulting how you know it say you know tahat tahat in arabic mean is underneath underneath how those women they are underneath those two men so if you want to say that they are his wives we'll say the word wives not tahta tahta is more i mean underneath is not a correct word actually i'm trying you know my english is limited you know i used to teach in oxford university english shakespeare he was my student his real name is shakespeare by the way he's an arab yeah tahta is something as insult why those women are why he is using the word taht and those abduls you don't notice how stupid this book is they are just going after this guy because he is stupid he don't know what he's saying as if they are smarter <laughs> It's actually in Ahsan Qawaid, this yeah. word, Molana. <laughs> yeah, this is actually in Ahsan Qawaid, which means he hasn't learned Qaeda. This guy has not learned This guy is laughing, brother. I cannot tell myself, I have to laugh, about that. Hey, brother, did you put your hand over your glasses? Can you still see us? I mean, you can imagine what you did to your... This is actually in Ahsan Qawaid, which means he hasn't learned Qaeda. This guy has not learned Qaeda. You know, I've never heard of somebody he laugh and he put his hand over the glasses. That is something, you know. Okay. It was small. You had the first page of Qaeda separately. It was on like a hardback type of, you know, thing you called Patti. Go back, put <laughs> and learn Patti. We used to read it from Masiji opposite our road. Darab Allahu Masalan. He's reading Darab Allahu Misalan. Okay. Min, uh, so, Mithalan, okay, then he goes, Lilladina Kafaru, Min Im. He just put a, an extra word in, a full word. Sheikh Uthman is adding words, it's not even the Quran. <laughs> He's adding words, it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get some water. Okay. So now if I read the Quran and add words, Muslim, don't tell me you're adding words. Brother, I can add. If your Sheikh can add, Muhammad can add, Omar can add, Aisha she can add, Fatima she can add, what a Christian prince he can add. Let me see. Min bismillahi min rahman min rahim Min potato, min tomato, min potato. What a silly book. What the heck is that? Allah is saying in the name of Allah, and he is the one who's talking. Hey guys, I just learned a new way to introduce myself. In the name of a Christian prince. <laughs> hey Christian prince, aren't you Christian prince? No. Uh, I thought it's you. No. What do you mean no? Aren't you Christian prince? Yes. You just said no. You said no for no, like no, no for yes. Uh, okay. So, why you are saying in the name of Christian Prince if you are a Christian Prince? No. What do you mean no? I'm asking why you are saying in the name of Christian Prince if you are a Christian Prince? Uh, can you repeat that question again? Okay. Why you are saying in the name of a Christian Prince if you are a Christian Prince? Uh, no. What the heck? What no mean? If you don't answer me immediately, I'm going to call the most smart, educated person in history in Arabic. I'm warning you. Mr. Prince, I'm going to ask you the question. And now you have to answer the question immediately. Exactly. Like how in the world do you get here, man? Are you like, how? I did, we did not even call you. We did not even hear the ring of the phone. How you were able to, to intervene? Mr. Prince, what of all, I am a hacker. I can go to any computer. And now I want to ask you, how in the word of God, he said in the name of a Christian prince, what well, you are a Christian prince? Hey, listen. I say in the name of Christian prince, because I don't want to scare the people saying to them, I'm a Christian prince. I mean, they don't know how I look like, brother. Christian prince, you get the point there. And you got your debut. 
Allah, nobody knows how he look like. So now Allah, he can say the same word. If you cannot say it, if you can say it, Allah can say it. Uh, Zakar, you remind me of a kid. He was doing poo-poo and we were teaching him how to do poo-poo in the toilet seat. And we said to him, if the cat was doing it, you can do it too. Christopher Prince, so respect. If on, I meant, if Allah can do it, you can do it. Not if you can do it, Allah can do it. <laughs> What the heck? And now those Abdul, they are going wild over Sheikh Uthman, peace be upon him, who is adding words to the Quran. I mean, this became a movie, man. When I'm going to finish this video, this me, how long this video is? I mean, this is horrible. Look, yeah, go ahead. Kafaru min imratan Nuh wa imratan Lut. Astaghfirullah. This guy is is off the rails. Anyway, min im no 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 imra ah min imratin imratin imratan imratan imratan. You know what are you doing, yar? وقيل دخل النار مع مع الداخلين. وقيل دخل النار وقيل ادخل النار. Allah saying it was said enter the fire. He saying وقيل خل خل yeah. The fact that you are stuttering shows that you don't know Nazira, you can't recite looking in. أولئك الذي يشترون الضلال بالهدى والآذاب بالمغفرة فما أزبرهم على على ما أزبرهم what أزبرهم shake on you أزبرهم أزبرهم you know what أزبرهم mean don't don't say penises you just said penises ما أزبرهم what the heck is that what what first you are reading Abdul? أيك الذي يشترون الضلال بالهدى والآذاب بالمغفرة فما أزبرهم على على النار. Now in this one he's actually given a khutbah so he's got the robe on, yeah, with the gold lining. أولئك الذين yeah. أولئك الذي. So he's reading أولئك الذي. So الذين he's saying to الذي. Okay, Ulaika Ladi Nashtara Wuddolalata. He's making Ulaika Ladi Yashtaruna Dolalata or something of the sort. Ulaika Ladi Yashtaruna Dolala. I'm done, I'm done. That's it, that's it. You know, so now, you know, Abdul, don't come and say Christian Prince is lying. This guy does not know what he's reading. He is a fake sheikh. I mean, those are your two Muslim sheikhs, and here we go. They just watch a few of his dummy videos, and as you see, everything he says, he do not know Arabic. He is a he's a fraud. He he do not know how to quote the note. He made the note of a note about a hadith printed in 1998. He claimed that the one is talking is Omar al-Khattab. Omar al-Khattab. He was talking about the Spanish acquisition. <laughs> so those people are very important for us, like Osman. Because, you know, in the beginning, they might, people, they, you know, the Muslim, they like what they do and they trust them, etc. And then when they fail, the, the failure will be big, like a balloon go empty from farting. So I hope you guys have a good time. Uh, you might notice that my video disappeared from my channel, but still you can click in it and watch it if you go to Patreon. So those who go to Patreon, they can see it still. And you do not need to make a donation for Patreon. Subscribe there. It's for free. For free. 72 versions. Just believe in Allah. Allah will give you a lot of women. Don't you want to have women? No. Why? Oh, I forgot you are from those guys. Huh? Ah. I mean, this God is so good. He was thinking how to make us happy. Hmm. What men they like? A lot of women. Hmm. What else? A lot of boobs. Hmm. How big? Big, big boobs. Can we see them? No. Just, just a little, little tiny look. No. Nope. Allah, please. Can I see them just a little bit so I can convert to Islam? No. I mean, just, okay, can I see the nipple? No. Okay, the head of the nipple? No. So, 
Are you saying there's a nipple? Mm, no. A lash? Anything we say to you, you say no. What is that? Are you Sheikh Uthman? So this God, he think about us, brother. He is worried about how our happiness. He want to be sure that we will have women with big boobs. And you know, I don't like to have women who have two boobs only. I'm afraid from the story of a flood of Noah. If the women, she have two boobs, it's not a guarantee that we are going to flood over the water. But if she have seven boobs, brother, or 14 boobs, brother, they are going to be the great balloon. And we can flood over the water. And there is no risk. You didn't need insurance anyway. Who need a yacht? Who need a boat? <laughs> you know, and your wife, the prophet of Allah, he said her, her ass will be one mile. Imagine, brother, you have a wife and her ass is one mile. How beautiful. How amazing. I mean, come on, all of us, we like big screen TV, don't we? Have you ever heard of somebody don't want to have a big screen TV? All of us, all the men, they want to watch football in big screen TV. Well, this is exactly where the foot and where the ball will be. It's a huge, one mile. Brother and sisters, I hope we convinced you to convert to Islam today. And as you see, the Sheikh of Islam, they are the one who can correct Islam. And they are the one who can correct each other, brother. And all of them, they are knowledgeable. But nobody there to call us to show us their knowledge. I want to say thank you for being here. Don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish. Uh, because we will make it enlisted. So you will have a difficulty to find unless you go to Patreon. And then after that, we will delete it as usual. So download share as soon as it's possible usually it takes 20 minutes for videos in youtube to be able to download and uh, in patreon actually i posted i made a post to show you how you can download uh, videos from youtube it's very easy and you can reload them again or save them in your drive i want to say thank you for being here and i learned a lot of things from you guys thank you very much for sharing all the information you know you taught me arabic you taught me Quran, you taught me Hadith, and I am so grateful for Sheikh Uthman because now I notice that even my pronunciation for Arabic became more better. And similar, the Quran says, if we cause Quran to be forgotten or abrogated, we will make something similar or better. So now, thank you, Allah. Thank you, thank you. I made, you made my Quran better and my Arabic even more better. And this is the better word. Thank you, and good luck with the Abdul. What a bunch of fools. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam, and Islam without lies dies. Remember that statement always. We are the Christians. We are the victorious. We are the, follow the followers of the living God, the Messiah. The Messiah is alive. Even in the book of Muhammad, he could not deny that the Lord, the Messiah is alive and their prophet is dead. Those who wanna live, they follow the living God and those who like to die, they follow the dead man, Muhammad. So why in the world anyone wanna follow a dead man when we have the, 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 the most holy, the most amazing, the word of God, the living, walking, talking word of God, the Messiah, he is alive. And the Lord, he says, Whoever believe in me and die, he will live. The life is a promise to you. And death is the wages of sin. And Islam is a sin. For sure. Thank you. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that 
most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 